Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Alright, I've no idea what you are bright orange for. I don't know why you're bright orange, but I'm hoping that you can go in and we can find out why you're bright orange. Reports with solar hospital. events. Thought you ought to know. A scorch mark is burning our hospital. Okay. Janitor, to repair drug mixer. Right, I've, I've not seen that one before. So what happened to this dude that was, like, orange? Him. Diagnosis required. No, was it him? Is that dude right there. Diagnosis required. He's 76% right now. He's, yeah, we're, we're going to move him right to the very top of the queue. So that we can get this guy diagnosed and try and find out what's wrong with him. I don't think I've got much chance of actually being able to do this. Okay, you're alright. VIP patient. Yes, bring them in. I need to find that VIP patient and treat them. Who are you? Rosie Thwockhammer. You're not the VIP. You are... No, you're not. I need to find this VIP patient and deal with them. Now, I had another patient come through. Where, what happened to that patient? The patient is unhappy. They're leaving. Injection room. Doctors discovered a new illness, fool's mole. The fungal infection often contracted from fake jewellery and magic beans. Treatments designed to solely fight the fungus have given way in recent times. To blends that also stimulate the body's common sense facilities. Uh, they're going to have to go home. I can't do that. Uh, they're going to have to send them home. What is weird to people? Why do you have to just look for the only puddle of pee in the whole hospital and trip over it? You, Ruby Trout, you're the VIP. I've got a level. Yeah, we're we're, move, we're boosting you up to front of the queue so that we can get a little bit of cash from you. Your visit is you you you're you're all valued customers. Every single person in here is a valued customer. She's just more valued than most. Yearly review imminent. Right, view the yearly review a second. I've got an idea here. We may we we ought to we've got exactly the same as last time, that's fine. Um then we've got so Ruby Trout, she is into general diagnosis. Blank look. Yes, definitely bring in some blank look patients. Patient that would be fantastic. Arriving at the hospital. Bring all of those in. They will go straight to blank look and they will be able to have that one treated. That would be absolutely wonderful. So this is what I did last time round when I had trouble with um, a whole load of diagnosis and stuff like that. Was I found the patients who I knew were... Staff challenge. I found the patients who I knew were going to get me illnesses like that. Excessive time in the fine weather has caused the individual to become unreasonably and deliriously friendly. They must be sent for treatment before they faint, overheat, or cause more friendship than they can sustain. We'll send them for treatment in our pharmacy. Excellent. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. So over here, like I got Violet Rambo on this over here. She's general diagnosis now. I don't know where we're going to send her from there. I've got seismic. Oh, we've got a tornado coming in. This, this this hospital is nothing. It's just one long string of disasters. Now, where is the other VIP? There's the VIP patient over here. Ruby Trout. Treatment in progress. She's got hermitism. Excessive, obsessive fondness for the beach towel has taken a dark turn. And they now seek other larger beach towels in which to engulf themselves. Competition for towels among sufferers can be fierce. So those without a towel might be found in reclusive solitude, often in lighthouses. She is in here getting treatment for her deadly disease, which is absolutely brilliant. And we've got blank face people in here who are also getting treatment. If we can just get those to run through here quickly, that would be absolutely great. Janitor needed to repair Deluxe Lux. Right, she's she's fine. Um, ten grand there. We've got that one. We got two out of in progress. Five, two cured. Dead weight. We'll restart that one. You're listening Another to blank Nigel Bickleworth. 
on Two Point Radio. I love the face down. If That's you a ask failure. me, Bungle has overstepped its bounds with its latest treatment for wonky ankle syndrome. The procedure involves transplanting the foot of an athlete to the patient. Goodness knows what their treatment for athlete's foot might be. Oh, goodness me. Right. Uh, anyway, good news. We cured the VIP patient. That gets us 10,005 rep. We have a queue outside of a GP's office. I'm well aware of the queue outside the GP's office. We need to repair that machine a minute. Uh, then we want to go and start looking for any patients that we know are going to get us some decent cash with treatment. So we want to have a look for anybody that's got blank face. Rory Rake right there. You're a blank face. So you can be bumped right up the queue like that and that one over there he's also going to be bumped up the queue i'll just move them all up to number one like that i i most of these patients i can't do anything with at the moment we've got too many here so i've just got to look through and find out any that look like they may be able to help us like you over here scotty compost let's put you up we'll put you into actually we'll put you right up to number one there because your health is getting lower that, I'm hoping, is going to help a little bit. We'll get a few of them sent over this way. We're waiting for you to just mend the face stamp machine. Which isn't... That's not going to be too bad. Right, bankruptcy warning. Yes, we know that is climbing higher and higher. It's going to be a problem, but it's, it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, face stamp has been repaired. So in we go. We've got another one moving in. This is one of the ones that we need to do here. Go on. Please cure. We, we need these guys to cure. I got 63, 64 out of 90 days done. There is another success. Three succeeded. I need one more success. Are you really stopping them from coming in when you're repairing the air conditioning unit? I should hope not. Giles the butler has asked us to invite Wiggy Silverbottom to the hospital for an important visit so that he can have a break from Wiggy. I'm not really sure what he's talking about, but it might still be a good idea. If he's impressed with the hospital, it could be good for our reputation. We might even receive an investment. Okay, send him in. Now, one more face stamp. I really, really want you to... Yes, we've got another cure over here with the face stamp. That is brilliant. So we've got 10 grand coming in there with the cure. And we've also got... Um, these patients are sort of working... Hospital okay. patron arriving now. Uh, electrical storms. Our doctor has decided to run off. He's, he's done a runner. He's gone somewhere else for a minute. Nurse wanted in cardiology. Nurse needed in cardiology. We've got a uh, little bit of an issue at the moment with lightning storms and all sorts of stuff going on. I lost some money there, but the special report, we did cure four out of seven patients, so we get ten grand for that one. I'm not keeping on top of the money. I've got too many G... I've got the GPs here. I've got them. And it, this is my problem, is that I've got GPs. Okay, there's a lot of people dying at the moment. Maintenance needed in head office. Loans. Today I will oh, tackle great. what is to many of you an unsurmountable grammatical stumbling block. The difference between who and whom. It's really rather simple. The latter ends with an M... The former does not. Okay. Um, I have got way too much in the way of expenses. I think I'm going to have to shave off some of these doctors that I've got. Because that's my biggest problem, is I've got lots of doctors. I was standing by for the extra GP's offices, and it doesn't look like I'm going to get anywhere close to being able to rescue myself. Uh, also, I'm loan exempt on that loan right there. I'm, I'm not even allowed to take out the 100,000, uh, which is not very helpful to us. Uh, it requires a hospital value of 100,000. I don't even have that. Overview in here. Cash. Hospital value, minus 180. Total value is 95,000. Now, if the value of the hospital goes up by just a little bit, if we can get a few people treated, we might better change that round. So we will go in here, and I will move anybody with a light bulb up to the front of the queue, and anybody with a blank face. Because I know those two treatments can be treated. Uh, that Those two illnesses can be treated. The rest of them... 
they don't matter quite so much. But these we can definitely deal with. So we can boost those up the queue quite a long way. So I can move you up to the top of the queue like that. There we go. And what else have we got? You right there. What What's wrong with you? Okay, I have no idea what's wrong with you. You over here. Diagnosis required. You're going back to the GP's office. So you can go up to the top of the queue. You're nearly dead. That's not helpful. So we want to put you right at the top of the queue like that. Can I see, and I can't see anybody else at the moment that we're going to really need to. We're going to have to keep an eye on patients coming in. Plus the patients that are moving around as well. Some of these, yeah, we've got a lot of people that are being forced to stand. We know that. Honestly, I don't care. Um, I just, I, I want to get some of these through and into the GP's office. If, if they can get through and into the GP's office, you're queuing the GP's office. You over here, what are you doing? Lightheaded. You're going for treatment. Ideal. And you in here, what are you doing? Lightheadedness. You're going for treatment as well. Excellent news. Okay, we're, we're starting to, like, th th this is progress. This is definitely, pro oh, 200,000. That's not good. Minus 10 rep for Wiggy Silverbottom. He didn't like the place. What about the Deluxo Lux over here? That... Uh that was a successful treatment. And now minus 200,000. Right, you know what? Rather than trying to struggle on through this and keep going, I am going to just start again. And we're going to do something slightly different. So this is the first one that I've ever started again. Restart level. Yes. Um, the save file for this level will be deleted. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Much as it pains me and it breaks my heart, we are not going to be able to dig our way out of this hole. We're so we've sorry, already done the that. that you dropped on our floor. Underneath the monitor right there. That is perfect. Right. So I've now got two diagnostics rooms. Plus I've got the training room over there. That training course has now finished. So let's say we've got trainers available, courses, trainees available. I've got a student doctor who's learned nothing. And I've got an in intern assistant that has learned nothing. And we've got a doctor over here. So you're going to be a trainee. Trainer available is going to be that doctor right there. And of course is going to be general practice like that. Start training so that we've got another one with general practice. Very, very, very important to have general practice at the moment. Then we want to go back over this way. We want to go into higher. We want to have a look. So nurses, I've got a nurse right there, which is funny, nasty, weak bladder. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. And a doctor right over here who has no training whatsoever. Let's bring you down over that way. Pause just a moment. If I could have that doctor trained in here. Let's go. Cancel that training course and then go back into here and I, I'm gonna do the same again I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna bring that one through again and uh, dr. Layla tornado She is going to do the training course, but I'm actually gonna have both of those doctors train and there so I've got I'll have three GPs Okay, new illness tooth mutiny discovered uh, Poor dental hygiene has led to revolting teeth with a tendency to revolt. We'll send them for treatment in our pharmacy. Excellent. So I've now got my extra doctor coming in and he's going to learn to be a GP. We're losing a bit of money at the moment. We know that. We're expecting to lose a bit of money. But right now it's not too bad. The janitors are busy working. We are actually um, bringing some cash in. We can upgrade our drug mixer already. And I've already got the upgrades available. Let's just wait for that treatment there to finish. Then I need to start putting some seats down and around. I got the face stamp person right there. Six grand right there. Right, upgrade. Upgrade the drug mixer. While we're waiting for a few other bits as well, we want to go to items and we want to start putting some benches around the room so that people have got somewhere to sit down and chill out just a little bit. Uh, we'll put one there like that. That plant can move. I put it there. No. All right, fine. I'll put that one right in the middle over there. And I'll get another bench. I'll put that one there. And then I'm going to go over this way. And we're going to get a leaflet stand. We will get... 
Right, I've, I've got some cheesy gubbins and stuff over there. So we'll put we'll put some more of these. Our money is getting low. Staff promotions are incoming. Now that the hospital is less filthy, we're legally allowed to call it a hospital. Oh, and start doing medicine and all that. We've also been sent the technology to treat patients with blank look, a disease we're likely to encounter while we're on the island. Okay. Blank look is a room that we're going to want to build. Please don't compare treatment prices online. <laughs> don't compare treatment tri prices online. Okay, we've got two janitors that we're promoting right now. We will go and promote them some more in a bit, but we're not going to just yet. So where is this new room that we've got? The one for treating the blank look. It is the recurve. No, indentification. That is 25,100. So we need a few pennies brought into the hospital before we can actually build that room. Upgraded to drug mixer 2. Drug mixer, drug mixer. And that's going to... There, we've got some treatments coming in. We're being treated for Sandy Crack. Staff challenge. Promote three staff. Let yes, it never be that. said that I, Sir Nigel, am merely some city-bound dilettante incapable of roughing it in the wilderness. Why, only the other day my chauffeur took a wrong turn and we ended up on the edges of Tumblewood. I escaped unharmed from this bracing encounter and rather enjoyed the colour of the trees. So there. <laughs> I love this guy on the radio. He's absolutely brilliant. Right, it's a little bit warm over in this corner. We could do something about that. Needed in board. I'll put an air conditioning unit down over there. That's, that's going to make life a little bit more comfortable and bearable for everybody. We will get rid of the rest of these. And... Right, I've got lots of chairs and stuff all the way around. We've got no training going on at the moment. We've now got three GPs who are busy doing things. I need nurses next. That's what we're going to want. We're going to want mostly it's nurses with diagnostics. Jemima Riddle over here. She's terribly dull, but she does work cheaply. Right. And then we can go and have a look in here. So diagnostics. I got four. I got one person trained in diagnostics. So trainers available is my nurse over here who's basically able to do everything. And then trainees available. I got three student nurses to train in diagnostics. That means we'll have four nurses in diagnostics, which I'm going to do. I'm going to want a nurse trained in... Uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. I am going to want a nurse that is trained in um, other things. Right, we'll just promote that doctor there. And we've got a janitor right there to promote as well. I'm going to want a nurse that is trained in treatment. That's, that's what we're going to want. Treatment nurse. If I can get a treatment nurse as well... Uh, that'd be great, because the identification machine that we're going to build over here, we're going to need it. Uh, Doctor discovered new illness. An obsessive fondness for their beach towel. Right, we've already read all about that one. Uh, treatment in the ward for that one. Okay, we've got a ward over there, so they, they go over there and they can be treated in the ward. Now, lots of people are coming in. It's just getting the treatment done. Lots of patients are queuing outside the nursing rooms, which I kind of expect... Now, I got five grand at the moment. It's because I'm not getting any diagnostics done because of this right here. We're going to need to take out that loan pretty soon, I think, and get the identification. In general diagnosis. Diagnose and cure a VIP patient. Yes, we will definitely go and do that. You're going to need to be put to the very top of the queue. So there's one nurse who's already coming out and going into the pharmacy. Excellent. I got people queuing up in the pharmacy, I think. Somewhere. Or I thought I did, anyway. Yes, there we go. I just heard them knock. Uh, psychiatry. Get them to wait. Okay, I do actually have a doctor that is a psychiatrist. This is where we're going to want some additional help. We're going to do our identification room over there. We're going to build psychiatry over this side. So, identification, psychiatry, and what else might we want? I don't know, but we'll definitely go with those, and we'll also try and hire some more people to fill those gaps. Before I get back into it, and yes, I'm on a brand new recording session just for a minute, I want to jump in here. I've got a 
Smoothalini, we've got Kinda, we've got Duck Zorley, and we've got Ducky Goes Bad in here. We've been working on different projects. We've got those right there. Cheese on the chalkboard over here. The timed cure patients that we want to work on. And then over here, I've got... Oh, there's two invitations from Kinda. I thought there was another invitation that was coming, that was incoming. I don't know about that at the moment then, uh, but I did think that maybe there was another one that was incoming. It doesn't really matter. We... Ooh. Reese, uh, players completed... Cure five patients in the injection room. I'm pretty sure we actually need an injection room in this one at some point. I'm not 100% sure. Psychiatry, cure five patients in psychiatry... We could possibly get going on that one, although at the moment we're doing this one here, Timed Cure Patients. So we will keep going with the Timed Cure Patients. We're going to go into there, we're going to go to our loan, and we're going to take out that loan first, the 50 grand. And we're going to go over this side, right in here, we're going to build a room. And the next room that we wanted to build was the identification one over here. So we want a 3 by 4 room up this way. We put that one in there, and then we've got this face stamping contraption over here. I love this room. I think this room is absolutely brilliant. So we need to have the indentification in here. And this one did end up paying us a decent bit of money as well with, with, the, with the last time round. Um, we, we got a very nice amount of money from this one. So it's quite important that we get this one up and running again, I think. We will put the aircon units there. And then we will come down this way and we will find a clock that we will put on the wall up there we'll put a wicker chair down over here like this and then i'm just going to put maybe a premature mummification poster and let's put some woodworms up here we'll put a woodworm poster up on the wall right there like that that's going to give us a prestige level three room so we can pop that one down there like that and then what else do we go for? Do I go for a fracture ward or not? I'm going to leave that for a minute. I'm going to leave it like it is. We'll run this. So I need a nurse for that room. Um, Yeah, I am on a new recording session. So I don't actually remember everything that... Um, 100% that has happened, so we will leave it like that. Uh, training course complete diagnostic staff promotion over here. EU can be promoted right there. Uh, Wilbur Roadkill has gained lots of experience. Staff training required. Let's train you now then. Wilbur Roadkill right here. He's got absolutely nothing, so I could give him customer service. Trainers available and courses available. There is only... Oh, I can have him do the training for the customer assistant. Let's just do that then. Let's just pop him in there like that. Trainees available. I don't have any more assistants that I want to do. So I'm just going to train that dude right there like that. And he's going to have customer service to start training. So it's just the two of them, our assistants. They're not going to be doing anything over here. They're going to go off and do a little bit of training for a second. Well done. We've successfully completed a request from Sam Fossil. Challenge promote three staffs. We've got that bit right in there. Restart timed cure patients. Let's see if we can do that. Staff promotion. Jeff Lentils, student doctor to junior doctor. Let's promote you up. And at the moment... Oh, wait. No. Psychiatry. We're waiting on a psychiatry. I needed a psychiatry room. That was the other thing that I needed, wasn't it? And I'm actually thinking that two psychiatry rooms might be a good idea. I won't do two psychiatry rooms at the moment. I will put the cactus plant down there. We will put a psychiatry. I'm going to have it running on normal speed just while I build this one up. If I put one there, a three by three room right there, I've actually got room for a four by three room there. So cancel that room there. Yes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that cactus over there like that. Room here. 
I'm going to go psychiatry. So I can do one, two, three, and then I can go here. And I can put a three by three if group no have account. Any questions, first ask yourself why that might be. <laughs> okay. That w she is savage. She, th th there's no denying that she is Assistant absolutely wanted savage. In reception. Right, I can do a five by four room in there, which means I could put a fracture ward down there. Right, I could put a fracture ward down there, and I could have a psychiatry room over here somewhere instead. I could sort of put one up there where and and like use a little bit less room. So let's get rid of this. Do I want to stop editing that room? Yes, I do. Uh, I'm just going to pause. New illness, blank look, sufferer's facial ex uh, features receded out of existence was he coaxed back with subtle hydraulic machinery. Unfortunately, common amongst people pleasers, yes men and crowd enthusiasts. Right, warning, frog storms have been detected in the area. Now, what I'm thinking is if I could put a 3x3, three th I don't think I can fit a 3x3 three three room in here. One, two, oh yes I can. One there. I can fit a 3x3 three three room there if I modify this ever so slightly and move it along a little bit. Maybe if I move it over that way. Alright, so we'll stop that one there. I will go into here and I want to edit this blueprint. So I need to move that bin over there. I want to move that bin over there. Then... The filing cabinet can go up there. The bin... You know, I don't actually think we need these bins, do we? we these two bins in the reception area, uh, we don't actually need. I could put one outside the reception area. But I don't need them in the reception bit, do I? I don't think that's beneficial to anybody. Let's get rid of that one. And we'll keep the recycling bin. We'll drop that one over there. And then you, if I bring you over here and I drop you there, then what I want to do is I want to get rid of that and that there, like that. I can't get rid of that one. There. Do I move this along a little bit? Right, let's have a look. We've got one two three yeah it comes right out to there so it's it's gonna like eat into that gap i mean actually i suppose people could go around this way so that they don't go into it this will get me psychiatry without me having to go and open up a new hospital room just yet and it will also leave me room for a four by four in there which is kind of what i want to do i don't have room for two like we've only got five squares in that bit and then one, two, three, four, five coming up this way. I got six, seven up there, but this one sticks out a bit. So five over to there. I've got a, uh, I've got a gap here. One, two, three, four, five, six up to there. But then it comes over to here. I'd, I'd need to be able to move that bit. And I haven't got room beside the ward to... Actually, I suppose I could edit the ward. All right, let's, let's, let's cancel that. Do I want to... Yes, I want to stop editing the room. I'll put that one back how I had it originally. We'll leave that one there for a minute. And what we'll do instead is we will edit this room first. Face stamp. Edit this room a little bit. So what I want to do with face stamp is I actually want to come over here. I want to move the bin over there and the fire extinguisher over there. And then I want to take this door. And I'll put the door up over there. So I'm going to move you to there like that. And then I can put that bin over there. This one can be moved that way a tiny little bit and then that one could be moved over to that side hand sanitizer there like that and the fire extinguisher can go there like that right that's that room now edited perfectly well i think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome 
And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.